The following training video is a guide to using Cellox A to plunge granules into a wound according to the product indications and packaging instructions. When responding to a casualty, it's important to identify catastrophic external hemorrhage as soon as possible. Fully expose the wound, identify the point of bleeding and apply direct pressure to stem the flow and gain control of bleeding. Cellox A is indicated for life-threatening bleeding. Familiarize yourself with the product's packaging. It has a tear notch at the top corners. While maintaining pressure on the wound, open the pack and remove the Cellox A plunger and barrel without touching the barrel's tip. To prepare the applicator, remove the clear plastic tab from the barrel and insert the plunger. When ready to apply, remove the blue end cap from the barrel and insert the applicator with plunger as far into the wound as possible, directly onto the source of bleeding. Slowly push the plunger to release the granules inside the wound whilst withdrawing the applicator. Ensure the wound is filled with granules above skin level. For deeper wounds, additional applicators or granules may be needed to fill the wound above skin level. As soon as the wound is filled, cover and apply firm, constant pressure for five minutes. Visually check for bleeding while still maintaining pressure. If bleeding has not stopped, reapply pressure until bleeding stops. Wrap the wound using bandage or a pressure dressing to secure and maintain pressure. Discard any remaining product. Maintain pressure at all times. Remember to bandage tightly to maintain direct pressure through to the hemostatic. Record that Cellox has been used in the wound. Place the packaging inside the bandage for the next stage of care. Check periodically and reassess the wound for bleeding until reaching the next stage of care.